All right, Aqua King, what it do? You already know it's your girl in Prince 777 here today with a general love message for my Aquarius soul family. Hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I certainly am. Holy angels and spirit guys, please give me clear, concise messages for my Aqua Gang, gang, gang. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, guys. These messages are general. This is going to be a new love edition, of course. So this will be all new love, right? Newer energies. If you're dealing with someone new, if you're looking towards going only to newer energies, this is a message for you okay take what resonates leave the rest y'all know how it goes okay let's start out with a few of these moonology oracles kind of gauge the overall energy approaching you this is going to be only good shit only new shit okay i'm just saying i'm just saying that's what i'm trying to gear this message towards okay take a moment and click that like button guys if you don't mind as well as the subscribe button you may want to click the notification bell because i upload for us quite often okay first thing out we have new moon in pisces so that might be the sign of this person approaching or this just may be your energy overall you may be feeling extremely light and airy right um it, it's giving i don't know like a, a peace on earth <laughs> right for lack of a better phrase it feels extremely easy going okay it feels as if you are in a space now where your head is clear um you may have gone through a period of time where you experienced lots of anxiety lots of worry lots of you know just kind of struggles mentally and that is definitely shifting so i like that okay it says meditate and contemplate now we do have two different fish here right it's definitely giving me two of cups energy so you may have a soulmate coming in towards you somebody who is going to be giving you the eye i don't think they're going to approach you right off the bat this feels like somebody who is going to um keep a, a bit of a distance for uh, <laughs> as long as they possibly can okay mm, yep so we have full moon in libra for some of you this could be a libra or they just may have that somewhere within their natal chart libras are all about balancing this definitely feels like very harmonious energy you guys um like i said light airy not too many worries just kind of going with the flow right especially with the water within this um new moon in pisces energy and now we have this a win-win um outcome is in the forecast so you definitely have luck on your side as you're moving forward maybe you've been feeling the need to kind of get back out there especially if you have been um keeping yourself out of the game for a little while this might be just the push that you needed maybe you were looking for a sign that you know <laughs> it's a go or some sort of a green light um i feel like this is it okay let's see here pull a few tara i really like that a win-win outcome is in forecast so that definitely means that either way you decide to go or whoever you decide to choose as you're moving forward feel as though your intuition is definitely on another level so you're picking the right people. You're vibrating high enough to be attracting the right individuals. Um, it definitely is giving me two different people maybe approaching. Either one of those choices is going to be a good choice, okay? Um, you're definitely going to come out on top either way you decide to go. Let's see here. Give me a little bit of the energy is coming through. Give me a little bit of the energy that we have. Whoa, okay, so we have the justice again. That's definitely Libra energy once again. So this could definitely be a Libra or this may just be someone who is fair, right? This may be somebody who believes in the same things as you. They also believe in compromise. This is someone who is extremely balanced and level-headed. If you happen to be someone who is high, strung, extroverted, right, at times, this is somebody who may balance that a little bit, right? It feels like a very, very balanced, easy-flowing, easy-going type of relationship that's the energy that i was feeling mostly um even before i pulled any cards right so it felt very easy um yeah i feel like this person is going to make you actually see that relationships can be easy that getting to know someone can be easy that this shit is not supposed to be hard pretty much okay that's what this is giving i really do like that this person balances you out pretty well the two of you complement each other um is what they're saying Wow, Libra energy is all over this. So you could already have encountered someone who is Libra or they may have that in their natal chart, of course. I feel like things are gonna end pretty well when it comes to this individual. Um, for some reason, I just feel as if <laughs> this is somebody who's going to not only try to win you over, they just have this idea about love and they feel like you're gonna be the one that they can, they can test that out on this sort of theory that this person might have 
Okay, so we have temperance. Wow, lots of balance. So both. this is why it's a win-win. Two different people, could be a Libra or a Sagittarius. Um, very, very harmonious um, encounters with both of these people, okay? It definitely is giving energy that these could start out more as friendship, right? Um, but they will progress into something much deeper. It's all about the balance for you. Anybody who comes in who makes you feel out of whack, who is coming with chaotic energy, even if you just get a feeling, you know? Something ain't right, <laughs> they gotta go. That's what I feel. Yes, I like this. I like this a lot, you guys, okay? So both of these energies are giving um, that they are going to be very patient with you, okay? These are people who are willing to work at your own, at your pace, you know, whatever pace you're wanting to go, especially for those of you who are just getting back out there. Um, if you are already currently seeing this person, then you add a sense of harmony to their life, okay? You bring this balance, sort of like a... Um, a comforting feeling that everything is going to be okay they may have a pretty chaotic job for some of you um they may do something that is pretty stressful but when the two of you get together when you hang out when you encounter one another it's just a, a very easy flowing conversation right it's definitely like a tennis match you know you don't feel like you're pulling teeth or giving an interview very easy flowing conversation very easy flowing energy it just feels like it's organic right it's just comfortable and again very very easy i feel like i keep feeling the need to say that word because that's very different for you you've always felt like you had to work for your relationships in the past and this is now changing so it's going to take some getting used to right you might try to keep a good eye on this energy like this seems too good to be true relationships are not supposed to be work guys that's a myth not even marriage <laughs> it's not supposed to be hard work i don't know where people get this idea from all right so let's see here. I feel like whoever is in this Libra, uh, Libra energy, they're going to be extremely chivalrous or they're going to be very traditional, right? Um, either they're going to want that from you, um, you know, want you to open doors or want to open doors for you, you know, buy gifts. They definitely want to play more of the traditional role in the relationship. Um, that might be the theory that I was feeling. This temperance energy is somebody who is still very harmonious and wants to keep things balanced, but they feel more like a, an adventurous type of person, okay? Um, a wild card, yeah. So you definitely have your pick of the litter. It feels like best, uh, best out of two, you know what I'm saying? This is why it's a win-win. You can't really lose picking either one of these. Wow. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Yeah, so these are both soulmates, guys. You know, you can have more than one soulmate within a lifetime. Um, you are encountering two at one time. This may be a very hard decision. I just have to be very clear, okay? Um, each of these people are going to be coming in, giving the same amount of effort, same amount of attraction, maybe even more, you know, trying to match you, match your fly. Lots of investing. Okay, we have the seven of pentacles as well as the four of wands. Okay. So this is about someone wanting to come in and pour in everything that they have. Wow. Yep, two of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So you're the one holding off. Okay, I definitely feel like this is your energy. More you're gonna this may confuse you a little bit, guys. Um it's almost as if you're thinking to yourself, I wish I would have just got one bad choice and one good choice, so it was a no-brainer, but two good choices is kind of leaving you in a sort of a dilemma. They both are checking out, you guys, okay? Very, very good options. Um, here's what I would say. Don't move out of the two of wands too quickly, right? Don't try to rush and make a decision. They're not going to rush you. These are very, very balanced energies. These are individuals who will know that you possibly are seeing someone else or several other people. They're not trying to force it. They're not trying. It's it's easy. <laughs> it's so easy that it's hard. That's what I just heard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Give me a little bit more here. Two of Cups. You may be a little bit more attracted to one physically than the other, but the other one may speak to your mind, right? In a way 
that really captures you, right? Mind Fs you, but not in a bad way. <laughs> It's not like a mind fuck. This is somebody who you will be extremely attracted to on a um, on an analytical, on a logical, on an intellectual level. OK, great conversation um, about things that you never even really talked about. OK, that's what's going to pique your attention about the other one. The conversations flow extremely well. You may be on the phone with this person for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. OK, time just slips away. It's not that the other one is shallow or they can't hold a conversation because they can. It's just something that sticks out in the other person more. They will both have characteristics and, and traits about them that are very different that you are attracted to very, very much so. So this is why it's making the decision um, quite difficult. But I do feel like you will make one. OK, see too much, too much. Fucking soon. Yeah, you are definitely <laughs> you are definitely keeping your wits about you. Um. You're trying not to move things too fast. This is definitely you or will be you in this two of wands energy, taking a moment's pause. Um, you want to make the right choice and you will. This is a win-win situation. Either choice that you make is going to be a win for you. Um, but, you know, Aquarians, we are very over analytical. You know what I'm saying? You have to think it all through, cross all your T's, dot all your I's, that sort of thing. So take as much time as you need. Okay. You can ask for signs directly from the universe if you need guidance in reference to what the best choice for you would be, okay? Yeah, now this is more like it. So you're definitely gonna be getting a lot of attention, you guys, but it's something about these two options. They're coming in in a different way. This is why they're piquing your interests, okay? You've always gotten a lot of attention. You're very attractive, okay? This is something that you've always known. It's just, it hasn't always been for the best reasons that you were getting attention, you know what I mean? People were always coming in on that shallow shit, right? Not really meeting you where you were. You always felt like maybe you had to settle in order to have a little bit of what it is that you want based on what people were approaching you with now we have two different people coming in right willing to throw all of their eggs into your basket okay or vice versa these people definitely view this as um going towards marriage for sure with this four of wands here that is about you know sharing finances right securing the bag okay it even has a house in the picture so house is all about security feeling comfort right um firm foundations and that's what i'm feeling okay yeah so this one may be a keeper you're like which one they're really not saying because i feel like everyone's option is going to be different if i'm honest okay So what's the most attractive thing about this person? What will you find most attractive about this Libra energy? What will you find most attractive about this Libra energy? Mm, okay, so we have crushed, but it's in the reverse. So this is someone who is very optimistic. They may be a serial optimist, right? They always see the glass as half full. They don't have time to feel sad, you know, get down on their luck. This is somebody who definitely, um, even when they are experiencing tougher times, they don't wallow in it. They're, they're a solution based type of person. They like to look for the solution rather than wallowing in the sadness or the pity of it all. Right. This is somebody who definitely is very ambitious. OK, um, they are they don't mind being alone. Right. They're a loner by nature. <laughs> Okay, naturally, naturally a loner. They might not have a whole lot of friends and that's something that's extremely attractive to you as well. You um, might find people who, you know, don't mind being with themselves because if you don't want to be with yourself, motherfucker, why would I want to be with you all the time? You know what I mean? You see how they go? You see how they go? That's the kind of shit that you be looking at. <laughs> yeah. So this person doesn't need a whole group of people around them at all times. They don't seek validation outside of themselves and, and things of that nature. They do have admirers. And when they're out, then they are able to kind of code switch, right? They're able to be more extroverted when they're out, when they're handling business, if they do decide to go out with friends, but they don't have to have that in their space in order to feel, you know, whole. So that's going to really, really um, catch your attention. All right. Now, in reference to the Sagittarian energy, we do have the fact that they are this is the type of person who is they have no filter. What what you see is what you get. They tell it like it is. OK, even if it hurts people's feelings, I don't feel like you're going to have an issue with that. They're not trying to hurt people's feelings, but they're extremely, extremely bluntly honest. 
um, there may be <laughs> conversations where they're extremely honest and they say things to you that other people may not have said. Now, these are not things that are insulting, but it will pique your interest and it's going to be extremely attractive when they do that. OK, there's a certain awareness that this person has. They carry about themselves that allows them to just speak very freely. Um, yeah, they don't lie about anything. Period. OK. So what would this Libra energy find most attractive about you? What would this Libra energy find most attractive about you? <laughs> You're hard to get. <laughs> you play hard to get. They like that. They like that. They 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 down for the they they are down for whatever games you got. You like girl, this ain't no game. Okay. Whatever kind of obstacles you have, whatever kind of relay races you got going on with all your other, you know, starting lineups, whatever. They're ready. And they quite like it. So I don't feel like you're playing a game. I don't. Um, I feel like what this person likes the most is that you don't just give in freely. You definitely pull back a little bit. Um, you give a little and you hold back a little bit. It, it's adding this sense of mysteriousness. Okay. It's, it's leaving a little bit of mystery. It keeps them kind of wanting more. Right. So they may text you. You don't text back right away. <laughs> You don't do that on purpose. You're actually busy. Okay. Like, yeah, it's not a game, ma'am, sir, bro, sis. I'm talking to them now. It's not a game. Um, but they quite like that, you know, and it kind of keeps them interested to see what you will do next, you know, or, or what you won't do next. Right. They may ask you out. Right. And, and the answer is not yes immediately. Unfortunately, I have plans that day, you know, or I have a date. Okay, we're doing that. I have a date on that day, but what other days are you available? And they're like, oh, I'm available on Saturday. You're like, okay, great. We can do Saturday. That type of thing. Okay. Yeah, this person kind of feels like there's always this anticipation of not knowing, you know, <laughs> whether you will give in to their advances or not. And they quite like that. It, it keeps things interesting. What about this Sagittarian energy? What do they find most attractive about you? We have, oh, uh, okay, so this person is more spiritual, okay? The Sagittarian energy is giving a spiritualist type of energy. This is somebody who um, definitely believes in the cosmos. They believe in the universe. They believe in the aligning of the stars, right? That the two of you didn't come together just because, you know, just so happens. Um, they love that about you as well. OK, um, there's something about the conversations that the two of you might have, especially um, more specifically when it when it entails speaking of your spirituality and your spiritual journey, self-love and things like that. Certain signs and synchronicities, you the two of you may notice um, certain synchronicities while you're around each other simultaneously. Um, this piques their interest very much so because they believe in that. OK, wholeheartedly. Um, this is definitely the energy of somebody who is going to be on par with this two of cups card. They're going to automatically believe that you are a soulmate. Um, it's just it, it's lining up too perfectly. <laughs> There's no way that you're not a soulmate. So this this person is awoken okay we have this realization card that's saying awareness right somebody who um has come to the light this is a person who is very much so into spirituality they are fully awoken okay um i do like that especially right with this four of wands card under it right i just have to be very honest with what i'm feeling intuitively it, it could be a twin flame energy you guys okay i don't want to fall too much into that but I felt the need to say that they're actually telling me to say it not for everyone okay could just be a very strong soulmate um, energy but the four of wands can signify twin flame now if this is a twin flame that you're getting ready to encounter um, you will know immediately all the signs will be there okay this is a twin who is already awoken OK, so if you are still on your spiritual path, I would not lean into this relationship too much, because, as you know, twin flame relationships can be a little bit tumultuous if both twins aren't awoken. Not that you aren't, but you usually have to go through certain lessons prior to the union. And I don't want, you know, I don't want to. OK, I won't dig too much into that, but you get what I'm trying to say. Right. Only take that if it resonates. OK, 
For those of you who are not dealing with twin flame, then this is just a very, 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 very strong soulmate connection. They will be very aware of this. They may speak of this to you and it's something that is extremely sexy about you to them that you actually will entertain this conversation, right? Because everybody is not ready for the spirituality conversation. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is not on the same page when it comes to that. They don't want to hear about angel numbers and spiritual awakenings and dark night of the soul and spiritual ascension. And this may be those deeper conversations that the two of you are able to have with one another, which is also what's going to have them realizing who the fuck you are. Okay. This one may be a little bit obsessed with you. Just a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So in accordance to this Libran energy, this is someone who is definitely going to want to be on the path towards relationship. Okay. This person is also um, being spiritually guided as well. This, both of them feel like they are very much so spiritually inclined. The Sagittarian um, energy is giving me more of a spiritual based energy than the Libran energy, but they both have um, some portions of that within them. That's going to pique your interest as well. This may be what you're looking for at this time. You don't want to deal with anybody who is not on your level. So they're speaking your language, okay? This is also making, like I said, this decision a little bit tougher, okay? Now this Libra energy definitely is a, a very wise individual. They may be a little bit older than you, okay? Um, don't let that scare you off. I don't feel like this is an older person who is going to try to dumb you down or who is going to try and, you know, tell you all about life because you ain't lived life yet and they've lived all this life and they're right and you're wrong. And no, that's not this type of energy. This is somebody who is definitely willing to listen as well. They still feel like they can be taught also. OK, so that's going to um, I feel like that's a good balance for sure. Um, again, this Libran energy is very traditional, okay? Um, the Hierophant card is a more traditional based energy, okay? So they may want to do things by the book, right? First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes the baby and the baby carriage. That's this person. Whereas this Sagittarian energy, like I said, wild card, okay? very spiritually based, energetically based. They may want to go off of like signs and synchronicities, right? <laughs> Letting things flow, you know, infinitely with the universe. Um, and that might be something that is extremely sexy to you, like I said. All right, let's get one more card in reference to the Sagittarian energy. I love this for you though. Okay, all the choices are giving. Do you understand? They are great choices for where you're trying to go and the goals that you have in mind. I feel like these are good teammates and partnerships for you to keep a good eye out on, okay? Now, if you have not started dating just yet, give yourself as much time as you need. Of course, don't move before um, necessary, but just know as soon as you put your toe in the water, baby, here they come. This feels like it's happening immediately once you decide that you're ready. So we have the six of swords and this is in alignment with this Sagittarian energy. I do believe that even though this is a wild card, like I said, there's still a lot of harmony between the two of you. This is not somebody who is um, going to be chaotic, right? Or have you guessing. They're not the moon card, right? Where you feel like something is off or you don't really feel like you can put your feet up. There's no security really within the emotionality and things like that. They're going to make things extremely clear. However, there's still like a small portion of adventure in there, you know? Um, I don't know. I feel like I feel like a good majority of you may be attracted to this kind of energy, just depending on what else is in your natal chart, right? All Aquarians aren't the same. Um, but it's quite exciting to see this energy together. There's still the harmony there as well, okay? And fire and passion and emotions, right? And um, this sort of spiritually based mindset. I feel like it's really going to mesh very well with where you are now once you start dating or once the two of you encounter with one another it's going to flow very easily you may want to move quick pretty quickly with this one i'm just saying i'm just saying um depending on which one you meet first now i do believe that the all of you will be meeting two individuals okay so there will be a choice here but both of the choices are phenomenal okay 
So let's head on over to the extended. I really want to dig in over there um, and kind of get down to the nitty gritty, right? So you can kind of come to a consensus of what your decision might be, okay, ahead of time. Let's spy a little bit, okay? I want to see for both. I will look at each individual separately on all the questions. Let's see what their truest intentions are for you. How do they behave in relationships, okay? Once the commitment has been solidified, are things gonna change up? That's important to know. What? Are, why exactly are they single according to them and according to their exes? Yeah, yeah, we need to know. Also, are there any warnings or red flags that you need to be aware of? Um, what's the best possible outcome? in each individual. What does life look like with them and how um, likely is there going to be a union and longevity in each of these uh, relationships? Let's also see what blockages could potentially be prolonging your growth towards newer energy. Um, it feels like there's some a sense of stagnancy here. Yeah, under here we have the three of wands, right? So lots of waiting, holding out, possibly uh, prolonging your healing process for no reason. So I wanna see what we could do to get that um, momentum going, okay? And we will also get your focus advice on how you can speed up momentum towards your life of fulfillment and abundance to get that shit rolling, okay? A win-win outcome. How can we get, get a move on it, all right? I'll get spirits advice directly for you. I'll also give you the floor to ask a couple of questions with our Ask the Universe read, but I'll have more instructions over in the extended for that, okay? So without further ado, please click that like like button if you don't mind it's free as well as a subscribe button and i'm going to put the link for the extended down in the description box and i will see you over there